Hi, my name is Javier Baez, director of SpanishTO.com. Today we're going to learn how to build our own hand calculator in paper to learn the numbers in Spanish. So, we need a piece of paper, just like this. All you have to do is fold it in half, this way, and then fold it again in half, and then fold it again in half until you build a little booklet that looks like a hand calculator. It's very important to understand that to be able to get six pages out of this calculator, you need to start your first page where there is the solid edge. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six pages. You need six pages. Okay, if you start backwards, it would not work. Okay? So once you fold it correctly and start correctly, you're going to write the ten number, the uh, nine numbers on the front of the calculator. So the nine numbers you're going to write are. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. A quick way to start your calculator, however, is to simply write the numbers 1 to 9 in all the six pages of the calculator. So you can simply take your pen and start writing the numbers 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this is the way you should start your calculator. Why you should put your numbers like that? Well, in nature, there are only 9 numbers. Math should be taught with 9 numbers in mind. There's not such a thing as an infinite numbers. It's only 9, and all the other numbers are composed with a combination of these 9 numbers. And, of course, an extra one that is number 0, which I wrote down here. 0. So it's important to know the numbers in Spanish, 1 to 9, and then organize the other ones around those 9 numbers. Okay, so your first page, as I said before, should have the, you should write the, uh, the digits and then write a zero in front of, uh, beside it. This way you're going to get a page that looks like this. I repeat, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, and 90. On the side, notice I put a, a red line here to remind you that you need to say E, so you write that red line and you write the letter E. It means M. The reason for that is that multiples of 10 in Spanish use the letter E or M to put together the following numbers. For example, if you wanted to put 55, you would say 50. E, and then you turn your page and you find number 5, cinco. So I'm going to write down the numbers again here. Alright, so your second page, you're just going to leave it like that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so let me turn the page so you can see it big here. Okay, so over here uh, I was working with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So you're going to leave that page just like that, just write down the numbers 1, 2, 3. On the following page, you write again the numbers 1 to 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But in this case, now you need to put a number 1 in front of them. Okay, so you get the multiple, you, you, you get your teen numbers. So number 11 will be 11, number 12 will be 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. Okay, those are the only numbers you need to write in your calculator. The rest of them you can calculate with the, the calculator itself. For example, if you want to say 16, so you look at number 10. You say 10 y 6. So 16 will be 10 y 6. You can spell 16 as one word, or you can spell it as three words. Three words is the old system, but it's still valid today. Okay, to calculate number 16, you know it's a 10 in front, so 10 and a 7, and 7, so 10 y 7. And so on, 10 y 8, 10 y 9, 
Okay, so only nine numbers at the time in your calculator. Now we're going to learn the numbers 100 to 900. Okay, so in your calculator now you have number 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. This would not be 500, 500. 600, 700, 800, 900. Notice number 100. 100 by itself is 100. So you put it at the top. But if you want to say 150, you will have to say the word ciento and then the word 50. Ciento, 50. Another important one here is 500, not 500. 500, it's spelled Q. U I 500. These actually are two words. Huh? Another number that you should know uh, is different is 700 instead of 700, and 900 instead of 900. Okay, now we're going to learn the numbers 1000. Once again, you start with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and you're going to put the word 1000 beside it. In this case, these numbers are spelled with two words. So the first one would be simply mil, then dos mil, tres mil, cuatro mil, cinco mil, seis mil, siete mil, ocho mil, nueve mil. If you wanted to learn another number like a hundred thousand, you would say cien and the word mil, or eleven thousand, once mil. Finally, in the sixth page, you have the millions. So, once again, you start with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you just need to learn the word 1 million for 1 million. And for the rest, you simply put the number in front of the word millones. In this case, it would be 2 millones, 3 millones, 4 millones, 5 millones, 6 millones, 7 millones, 8 millones, 9 millones. Okay? So at the end, you will end up with a nice calculator that will have all the numbers in sets of nine. Remember, nature works with only nine numbers. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, y nueve. Then you can simply look for the number and build it, and you will remember and because you built it. Thank you.